Yeah, just keep going. Kyle, so back in the book of Exodus chapter uh, 8, verse... Because, like, if you really think about it, we can go into the history now, man. You know? If you really think about it. There was a time back in the day, you know, there was, like, precept upon precept upon precept, but we had so many people coming up. They were inquiring. So we had to cut them up, ching, ching, ching. You know what I mean? With the scriptures. You know? But now we can let the spirit flow, man. That's right. We can bring out, we got to bring out edifying knowledge and history. That's that right. Israel needs to know where they came from, who their power is. You know what I mean? The things that the Most High actually did. And we're, we're breaking it down vividly so you know. It's not a play thing, you know? Right? Well, one of the most one of the most important things is is observing his high holy days, man. Right? right. So the fact that we're even teaching that, that's in righteousness because there's um, there's other high holy days that's coming up. And do we tell our people to, to practice that? No. When Easter comes, are you supposed to practice Easter? No. You're not supposed to do that, man. Right? Easter is against is against our tradition. Right? Our tradition is the Passover. Right? And the, even when you go into um, the book of Acts, what is that? Um, Acts 11? And it says Easter because the word Easter is actually in the Bible. But that's not the word. The word is translated. When you go into it, the word is supposed to be Pasach. Right? Which is the Passover. Right? And then to even further go deeper, it tells you that right after that was the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So how could it be Easter? Nah. So they, 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 they <laughs> it explained itself even more because it says, and right after that was the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So what, what High Holy Day correlates with, uh, with the Feast of Unleavened Bread? When you hear the Feast of Unleavened Bread, what High Holy Day do you think of? Passover. You think of the Passover. You know it's the Passover immediately. Yeah. This is uh, Jeremiah 10 and 1. It reads here. You, because word. it's simple. Because why, why do we why do we do that? Why do we have the um, the feast of unleavened bread? We have the feast of unleavened bread because we were simply in a rush to get out of Egypt. That's the only reason. It wasn't no deep thing. The reason why it happened because we were rushing, so we we didn't have time to make the bread rise or anything like that. So we made flat bread. Boom, feast of unleavened bread. That's it. That's right. We're, we're, we're eating with our shoes on. Up, we can't, we can't you know? we're probably we're standing up when we eat it, you know what I mean? You yeah. were scared. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're on the move, man. It was real. Remember, you had to put the blood on the doorposts. Remember, right, that time is like now. That time is like what's what's happening. Right? That's right. Yeah. People are getting into that, that time, you know? Yeah. And we and we need, you needed the blood then. You needed the, you blood, need now. the blood now. Yeah, but, right. Lord, what, like, I mean, uh, uh, it's beautiful because the blood now, it's not uh, uh, physical. That's right. It's spiritual. It's, spiritual. it's a mark. It's a mark, yeah. It's a mark. A mark of exemption. Yeah, that too. Yeah, this is uh, Jeremiah 10 1. It reads, Hear ye the word which is say, The Lord Yahweh speak unto you of the house of Israel. And the word was going into the uh, uh, Eastern home and stuff. Uh, verse 2 Thus said the Lord Yahweh. Learn not the way of the heathens, be not dismissed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismissed at them. Right? That's right. The heathens are dismissed. Yeah, the heathens right. are dismissed. They go and worship the moon and things like that, man. Other gods. Other gods. Because we know the sign is now and it's happening, it's fulfilling. The word is coming through the word, right? The signs are, we, we're seeing, we're watchmen, we're watching the signs. So don't be dismayed of the signs that's happening. We know the signs is going to happen. You know, we've seen it happen, you know. Other people are going to be dismayed of the signs because they don't know. They don't understand the signs. That's right. So they're going to be the ones who are fucked up. Oh, look at that. Look at the chariot. But yeah. they don't know it's the chariot. They're going to call them the aliens still, yeah. man. Yeah. They're <laughs> so, green men. So you can't follow the, the other nations or pray to other heathen, heathen gods, right? Well, we don't need gods, heathen gods. That's right. Yeah, right? So don't be dismayed of those signs. That's right. Okay. Well, the thing is, this earth is inhabited by many different nations, but this was really supposed to be governed by the Israelites, right? Because this, this earth is supposed to be in a certain order. 
writer because we broke that everlasting covenant. Because we broke that, that everlasting covenant, now this earth is given into the hands of all of all the different heathens that came up and ruled. But this place is supposed to be in a certain type of order. We're supposed to be a, we're supposed to be over it, right? That's why we can't get the we can't get the kingdom because this, this is gonna lead us to other other places. So how are we gonna we if we can't govern here, how are we gonna get other places? Right. This is this is just the first stop. Yeah. This is nothing, man. This is nothing. What's out there, man? It's gonna be amazing. Man. It's gonna be amazing. This this is literally just the first stop, man. And we can't get all of that until we get this shit in order. Remember, our people, uh, back then we had manna. We ate quail. God made quail come down. Mm -hmm. Right? Strange taste, strange food. Right now, us brother, we won't want to eat these things right now. You know, we won't want to eat um, these things. So there's so much things that 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 we could be doing or knowing and learning that our people just don't want to wake up to know or to learn or to do or to you know. A man was to give you quail right now. You're not gonna eat quail. You'd be like, nah, man. I want chicken. You know. Yeah. We, we, we're not used to these things, right? The strange taste. And 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 the most I think that that um, because we went up, not, not like that in that point, but I'm saying like right now, like if we were to go into that point where we're eating grasshoppers and stuff, like, our people are, are sinning, man. Right. For the most I could eat that grasshoppers, that means you must have fucked up. Mm -hmm. You know? It's, it's lawful, that's what I'm saying, it's lawful. What I'm saying, what I'm saying, if you're eating that now, like if you're eating that in these times, you know that you're, you know what I'm saying, like, Something like, you know what I'm saying? It's a fucked up yeah. thing happening. If it's you're eating the locust now, yeah. you're on the move, man. Yeah. You'll eat that locust, man. You yeah. know? Because you might, know it's righteous. It's not conditioned to eat. It's these not conditioned. Right now. But yeah. you, you, us having the knowledge that we know is righteous, if the most high sent them some yeah. locusts, we're going to eat that, yeah, we're man. We're going to have to eat that. You know? Get the scripture, man. Fine. You had more, no, Asha? No, that was it. That was important. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, you guys made mention of. Uh, See the mark being a spiritual mark. Get uh, Ezekiel 9. Okay. The book of Ezekiel 9 verse 4 says, And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go to the midst of the city, to the midst of the to the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the forehead of the men that sigh and cry to all the familiars that began to the midst their own. And to the others he said in my hand. And where are those men, man? I mean it, the elect are the ones that sigh and cry, I should say. Right. You know what I mean? We're the, uh, you know, the elect is the one having a problem with what they see around them going on, man. How this world is being covered and, and conducting itself, man. You know? No, like I said, there's no border here, right? What's the matter? the matter is, he said, in my hearing, go ye unto him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes bear, you don't have to be feeding. Slay utterly old and young, both the maids and little children and the women. But come not near any man of all who is a part of the king of my sanctuary. Then they began to see the ancient men which were before the house. You know, you know the thing with Jake too, man. The more, if he had, if there's a curse in the scripture, Jake has pity. When the Most High said, kill that nation off, man. You know? But the Most High said, not playing this time around, man. Old and young, man, man child, woman, maids. Everyone's getting it, man. Okay? okay. Um, it says, uh, it says like this. The servant, and he said unto them, defile the house, um, he said to them, defile the house and fill the court with the slave. Go you forth, and they went forth and slew, and slew the city.
says they're fortified the night where they punish worthy and by the multitude of beasts tormented instead of which punishment dealing graciously with thine own people thou preparest for them meat of a strange taste even wills to stir up their appetite to the end that they desire food might for an ugly sight of the beast sent among them loaf even that which they must needs desire but these suffering penury for a short space might be made partakers of a strange taste for it is requested requested that upon them exercising tra training should come penury tyranny tyranny should come penury which they could not avoid but to these it should only be showed how their enemies were tormented for when the horrible fierceness of the beast came upon these and they perished with the stings of crop crop serpents thy wrath endured not forever but they were troubled for a small season that's going into the history of uh, how people in the wilderness and um, the scriptures pretty much telling you that what, how the Lord blessed them with certain foods right but then it still went up right it's how people saw a big ass chariot for 40 years man and then they still went up right the, the Lord even punished them with a with a flying serpent like the scripture has said that flying serpents with fire in their mouth right yep. it says but they were troubled for a small season that they might be abolished having sign of salvation to put them in remembrance of the commandment of thy law right so whenever whenever our people go up what did the lord do he always put someone up is that it for a nation or what or he chastises and then the next year he didn't chastise them so you know that brings it that brings us back to who, what we're supposed to do as a people right yeah. when 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 you when you get put in your place then you know you know you know i've been going up Right? So that's what that's what uh, these uh, sword strokes help our people to do. For he, he that turneth himself toward it was not saved by the thing that he saw, but by thee that art the savior of all. And in this thou madest thy enemies confess that it is thou who deliverest from all evil. For them the biting of the grasshoppers and the fly killed killed neither was there found any remedy for their life right. for they were worthy to be punished by such but they thy sons not the very teeth of the venomous dragons overcame for thy mercy have have ever by them that healed them for they were free that they should remember thy words and were quickly saved that not failing falling into deep forgetfulness they might be continually mindful of thy goodness for it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restored them to health but the, the, thy word the Lord Yahawashai which healed all things for thou hast power of life and death and thou leadest to the gates of hell and bringest up again Ezekiel 16 verse 8 it says now when I passed by thee and looked upon thee behold thy time was the time of love and I spread my skirt over thee and covered thy nakedness yeah I swear unto thee and entered into a covenant with thee said the Lord Yahweh Bashan Yahushai power and thou becamest mine verse 9 then washed I thee with water yeah, I thoroughly wash away thy uh, wash away thy blood from from thee, and I anointed thee with oil. I clothed thee also with braided work, and, sh and shod thee with larger skin, and girded thee uh, about with fine linen, and I covered thee with silk. I decked thee with, uh, with, uh, with ornaments. Yeah, I, I was some of the ways of washing, washing washing them with, with, with 
stop right there. Okay. 
say like uh, when Moses went into the uh, into the mountains uh, to, to get the commandments, like as soon as he left, they, they uh, the people actually made like a uh, like a calf, you know, right. so that they made like a, a image, you know, as a child worshiping like the, like the, the golden calf. Right. Calf. Yeah, the golden calf. Yeah. yeah. He says, um, uh, verse seventeen again. Thou hast also taken thy fair jewels of gold and of, of my silver, which I had given thee, and made to thyself images of men, and didst commit murder with them. into the fig leaves. Yeah, Why yeah. say get yeah. one? Yeah. Because everything that the brother was reading, that's going into what? That's going into building up a nation. Right, right. How do you build up a nation? A nation is going to need a dress, uh, right? That clothing yeah. that we wear. That's why it goes into the fig leaf, right? Uh, this is how you recognize who we are. This is how the nations always knew us. That's how, that's how there was always a separation between us and the other nations. First of all, when we were in Egypt, do you think it was easy to tell an Israelite from a hammer? Easy. Easy. You know why it was easy? Because we stand up. Because we stand up. Why? We have the beard. Yeah. We have the garments. Yep. Right? The garments alone. We don't we don't practice scarification. Uh, yep. We don't practice other things that they practice. Right. The the, the thing through the nose. The multiple, the multiple earrings, the plate, the big wall, the plate, plate. Yeah, yeah. That's another garment. Right. That's that's you dressed another way. Circumcision. Right. Do the right. Egyptian men yeah. practice circumcision? Nope. No. And they circumcise their wall. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Right. Then the last thing goes into your mind. Yeah. Your mind is the most important thing. And they never had the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that we had. Right. When you study Egypt, they worship every single god they, it's it's called poly, polytheistic we were the only people that were monothe mono every other nation was poly every single nation was polytheist theistic where they believed in many gods we were the only nation that believed in one god that's right and then when it goes into the food what's that talking about that's going into your dietary law. Because now you have a law. You don't eat what they eat. They eat this, you don't eat that. They eat this, you don't eat that. They drink this, you don't are you able to drink blood? We're not even supposed to eat um fat. Even fat. The fat on meat, we're not supposed to eat it. Like if you get it, it's in your mouth, you're supposed to spit it out. You're not supposed to eat the fat. Sometimes it's hard to get off, but when you taste it and you're like, oh that's fat, you have to spit it out, right? Right? Born marrow. You know our mothers eat the yeah. born, tear yeah. up the born. Yeah. My mom tears up the born. We're not supposed to do that. Because guess what's in there? The blood is in there. Right? We're not supposed to eat that blood. Go ahead. You got Genesis, right? Yeah, I got I Genesis 3 and 1. Yeah, I got that. Uh, it says 3 and 1. It says Genesis. It says now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord Yahweh had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, has Yahweh said he shall not eat every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, So the serpent that the, 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 the scripture is uh, describing here is a man, right, or a nation, yeah. with the, uh, the characteristic of the serpent, right? right. right. It's cunning, it's smart. Says, verse 2 And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the tree of the garden. But the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Yahweh has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Right. 
Yeah. You ever did a threesome? Yeah. I would fuck you and your friend at the same time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Trying to persuade you. Yeah. But that's all wickedness. Right. It might sound good. You know, she might even tell you to come sleep with her and her friend. Are we allowed to do that? That's why we look boring over here. Because yeah. we can't do certain things, right? But she'll persuade you. She'll introduce it to the friend. That's right. Yeah. Easy. First Timothy 2 verse 14 it says, And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in a transgression. And always goes back to that woman. Exactly, but at the same time, Adam was slipping, man. Yeah. Right? You men yeah. just have to be strong in what you believe. Yeah. The woman comes to you and she tells you that she wants to do this, you tell her no. Tell her, you, she's just like, oh, babe, why would you get circumcised? Because the Lord said so. Mm -hmm. The Lord said so. If right. I don't do it, he's going to kill me. That's why, man. The hell? Well, he said, the Spirit said, um, to a woman, he come and to a woman, we die. What did that Spirit say? Yeah, the beginning of sin. Yeah, the beginning of sin is uh, through how we all die. Yeah. Go back to Genesis. So it's what it is. Well, the woman, you have to understand, women are the first people we learn from. We don't learn from our fathers right away. The first person you learn from is your mother, right? So if your mother's off, you're off. Yeah. Simple and plain. Like when I was growing up, I used to eat kidney, I eat liver. These things were cooked out. And you know why? The woman right? But those things are off. And you know why? Because there's no man who corrected it. There's no leading in the truth. That, that's why we're in this particular thing. There's no man here to say, no, you know what, woman? You don't do this, you don't give my fitness, you don't you yeah. set down the rules and the ground and the woman has to stand by and she has to teach her kids that generation to generation. But we never we never did that. We fell off as men of the household can't maintain nothing and then the woman just break their crumble. Boom, instant destroyed. Everything is done. But if mash up. If you can't like get the basis down, just the dietary law down, what you know what I mean? When that kid grows up, what you can't control that kid. No, no that kid. And the uh, other things, that's what it's you can't tell him how to conduct himself. Nope. It starts out the little things, man. The you can tell your woman, oh, all right, you don't make my kid eat pork or shrimp or whatever, man. And they'll live by that, man. And then you tell it, well, you know, you don't, you, my daughter can't wear no lashes or something like that, man. You gotta live by that, man. But it starts young, man. You gotta put that in force now, man. And the thing is with these men nowadays, especially because they don't have the truth, they don't really know what's going on, man. You see how children are, children are now, children become teen to adults. You see how young adults gone? These young little 19 year old hoes, all these little niggas, out here. We need discipline. The scriptures. Ecclesiastes are 25 and now 24 with the growing of these women. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. You can't let a woman run your life exactly. or make decisions. And that's all that right? it is. It's not to hate the woman. Uh, it's just to let you know her level. It's just to let you know she's not supposed to be the head. That's all that is. Yes, yes, exactly. People use these scriptures and hate women and this woman. No, it's not about that. Man. It's just letting you know that this, what we do, wasn't meant for her. Yeah. Somebody get that scripture. That the flock of the most high is men. Right? That's all that it is. It's not even a big deal. It's just, just that she's just yeah. not the head. Yeah. You're the head. Yeah, the back. That's it. Get that from the Corinthians. No, bring on what you have, brother. Gabarga, you have something, right? Six, where it says, put on the breastplate of righteousness, because we have to stick on that topic with the brother brought up with the garment, right? Because a garment is talking about that truth, right? That's why we look like this, right? We look like this because we have that knowledge. That knowledge makes us look different, right? Because how do we know a man's a sin? Do you know a man's a sin by his actions? No. You know a man's a sin by his words. Then his actions, but it's what comes out of his mouth. That's why you can be like, yo, this man's a sin. 
How do you know a man's a fool? You know a man's a fool by his words. You hear what comes out of his mouth? You're like, this guy's fucked up, man. Yeah, yeah. Man, this guy is, come on, I hear ya. Official six and ten. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord Yahweh and in the power of his might. Verse 11. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that you may, able, may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. That's right. Now, put on the armor of the, of the Most High, man. That's what we're all out here doing, man. We're trying to put on the armor of the Most High, man. To stand up against these wicked devils, these higher elites. Verse 12. For we, verse 1, is not against place and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, right. against spiritual wickedness in the high places. Yep, yeah, because it's all spirits we deal with out here. This is a spirit warfare. Right? We're dealing with people and wicked friggin' spirits on them, wicked demons and fucking entities. That's what we're dealing with. The only things that they can't see. You just, just, that's what we prophesize to the air. You know? right. This is to the air because you know what? The air is a spirit like you know, This is a, a big spirit of Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we can see it now. Yeah, we that's can see it. That's why we prophesy what we prophesy about the, the, the left hand side. Right. So now you brothers are able to see the left hand side. Yeah, we see right, right so now. So before we sight. weren't able to see it, oh. but now you're able to see it. That's you're right. able to know when somebody throws up a symbol at you, you know what they're doing. That's right. When well, somebody throws up a peace sign at you, you know what that's for. Right. right. You know when people are trying to curse you. They'll say certain things, you know, oh, this person's trying to curse me. Uh, verse right? 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh that you may be able to able to withstand in the evil day who haven't done all to stand. Yeah, man. And that's yeah. what we're living through, man. That's, that's, what what, that, that's where the great spirit comes in. Yeah. Yeah. Read the last, the last uh, part. Uh, Ephesians 6 and 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh right. so that you may be able to withstand in the evil day uh, and having done all to stand. Right. Right. And having done all to stand. Right. right? That's what a great spirit, that's what, that's what we're doing now, repenting. And hoping when that time comes that we've, that we've done enough, man. Right? Who's going to know? The only the most high himself. Yeah, watch him shine. Judges 5. Right? Rehearsing the righteous right. acts. Right. 100%. It says take on the whole armor. Not half armor. Not half of the truth. Not half of the knowledge. Take on the whole armor of the most high right. God. Take on everything. Um, no? Bear your cross. First 14. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with the truth and having on the first plate of righteousness. I got Revelation all up. Yeah, bring it up. Revelation <laughs> 21 and 3. And I heard a voice, a great slug, and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their power. And in order for the most high to dwell with men, you have to have on the spirit of, of Yahweh. You can't, Yahweh's not going to be dwelling with you. Right. You know, you got to have the spirit on you to have uh, that, that power right. to give it on to you to protect you in those days. Those men are already chosen from the beginning too. Right. Right. And this just this just shows you how the how the who the most high really dealing with, right? The brother was the brother was just mentioning, um, it's, it's not a big deal, right? right? Men are supposed to be over women. That's right. that's the order of things, right? That's the Lord good, just that's pretty basic. much yeah, the Lord pretty much just telling you how it is, right? But in, in this world, you know, when you say things like this is frowned upon, right? You know, so. But the reason why we speak like this is because we have on the garment of our of our of our culture. Right, right. This is our nationality. Yeah. This is a part of what our belief system. That's, right. That's why we have on those clothes. Right. The clothes of what? Of being a man. Right. Of being right. a head. Exactly. That's just a part of that's a part of our belief system, right? right. Exactly. Get with it or don't get with it. If you don't get if you don't have that on, that means that you're not a part of this, right? And God 
blood shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. Revelation 20. Yep. They sang a new song. Yeah. And that's the new song that we're singing that nobody else could get. Right. But guess what? Everybody's gonna learn it after this place is destroyed. That's right. Yeah. When this place is destroyed, you people are gonna learn it. Okay. And you're gonna you're gonna we're all gonna be doing the two step together. Nobody's gonna everybody's gonna be on point doing the dance. Yeah. Right? And that uh, dance is talking about you're gonna raise your daughter in a way, I'm gonna raise my daughter in a way. We're all gonna be on point. Yeah. Every single one of us are going to be on point. Our wives are going to be on point. There's, there's not going to be no confusion, man. No confusion. confusion right? No right? confusion. No confusion. City of Babel. No confusion. confusion. Right? Madness. Chaos. No fucking death. I will. The Lord said there will be madness to rule the earth. That's all it's going to be. The heathens are going to have to follow it. And guess what? That, that, that makes us judges. We're going to have to judge them for not following That's it. That's right. That's right. Bash huh? them in. Right. Get used to it. Get used to that new song. Let me bring this up quick. This is uh, Isaiah 46 and 8. Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old. <laughs> For I am Yahweh. There is none else. I am Yahweh, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. So the Lord just telling, just telling you right now, everything was declared from the beginning. What you see now, what we're living, even prophecy and all that, it's already declared. We That's just right. we just have to live through it. That's right? right? The kingdom's already there. It was already prepared from the beginning. Yeah. We just have to live through it. Right? That's where patience comes in. That's right. right. Yeah. Hey, but you have to understand that. Remember the the um this is, this kingdom. This kingdom is under a new world order, right? right? But we're bringing in the new world order, and that's what they're afraid of. They're afraid of our doctrine because they want their doctrine to stand, which is pedophilia, homosexuality, transgenderism. That's the that's the that's the new norm that they want to bring in. They don't want us to go back to these laws. That that's what they're running from. Yeah. This book is what they're, they're running, running from. from. That's right. That's what they're that's running the, from. Yeah, Everything yeah. in that book that's is what right. scares them. Yes. They yeah. want to move as far away from that as possible. Remember, they're right? trying to ban the Bible. They're trying to ban the Bible. That's the, they, that's the that's the number one enemy right there in our hands. What we're holding, number one enemy. That's what they're trying to get away from. That's the scary thing, right? Right? That's the new world order. And, and the reason why it, it came down so fast is because of the elders and Yahweh, I should say. Yahweh, Yahweh, He's bringing this judgment. He's the one what set up this whole agenda to happen. Right. You know, Great Millstone, we, they bust it down. And we, we're spread all over the globe. The white man don't have no choice but to speed up his, his, his bullshit. Because of Yahweh. <laughs> That's right. Because you understand? The, the right That's right. Out. Because the truth is out. And once the people that wake up to the truth, it's all hell break loose, man. Right. You know? They've been lied to. Right. Okay, this is uh, Revela Revelations 5 and 9. It reads, And they sang a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book 
but to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast oh, redeemed. Revelation 20, no? That was it? No, that wasn't it. You were reading Revelation, Revelation 5. 21. Or 21. 21. 20 or 21. One of them. But they had white robes, right? Yes, I mean, you saw it. Yeah, yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen and seven. It's not from one. Fourteen. Don't go out slacky. Yeah. Uh, Revelation 14 and 1, it reads, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the mount of Zion, and with him 144,000, having his father's name written in their forehead. It's true. And I heard a voice of, from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as a voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. Three, and they sang as it were the new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the others. And no man could learn the song but the hundred and forty four Salakia, the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. Verse four. Yeah, and that song that we're learning, that's the oil, man. That's the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Yeah. Right? That's us. That's us being those virgins getting ready for the marriage, man. You have to be, you have to basically be in order for when Yahweh Shai gets back, man. When he gets back, you have to be in such a proper order that you know who he is, you know who you are, right? You have to know these things. These things are very, very important. That's how you cleanse yourself, man. Right? That's how you wash yourself of the, 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 the things that we actually have in our mind. Right. No, no, you can go right ahead. You're good. You are good to go. Go ahead. Uh, verse 4. Uh, these are they which were not filed with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb, whosoever he goes. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and unto the Lamb. Uh, verse 5, and in their mouth was found no guile, found no guile. Why? Why is that? There was found no guile because they have the blood. That's the only reason. Because we're all off. Every single one of us, even the, the 144,000, they're all off. They all sinned, but the reason why they're clean now is because of that blood. So they're going to be, Yahweh Shai will be able to present these men to Yahweh as clean. For they are without fall before the throne of Yahweh. Verse 6. And I saw another angel flying in the midst of the heaven, having the everlasting gospel, to preach unto them that dwell on the earth and to every nation. Yo, tell her we can't to talk to her, man. Tongue and we can't talk to you, man. You're married, right? You don't have a husband? You don't have a man? Do you have a man? I, I said no. Well, you have two babies, no? Is a man? Right, but still, you have two babies, so we're not allowed to talk to, to women that have husbands. We just—that's just against our laws. 
That's just against our law. But you asked me a question and I told you no. So you're okay. saying you're lying. Okay. No, I don't think you're lying. But I'm just letting you know. If you do, we just have to put that out there. But I just told you. No, we're just edifying the camera. Okay, good. Okay. I just told you and like three or four times. Okay, cool. But we have to put that out there. We have to put that out there. Now, now our hands are washed. So. Yeah, but still, I told you you don't believe me. Thank you. Thank you. I never said I don't believe you. You just, you asked me four or five times. Doesn't that show that you don't believe what I'm Because you have two children now. And I explained it to you. Okay, thank you. But we we can't deal with women with men, so we just have to put that out there. That's okay, it. Okay, so, yeah. Because I'm telling the truth. I don't have to think about anything. I don't have to think about anything. I can actually dismiss you if I want right now. Whether you have a man or you don't have a man. I don't have to do whatever I don't want to do. And see, and now you're here. You're here debating with us about how we run our show. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a good day. Goodbye. Have a good day. Proverbs 1 and 7. Have a good day. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but full despise wisdom and instruction. Then what's the point of having a prayer? Read that again. Proverbs 1 and 7. The if fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is the you beginning of teaching. knowledge. Somebody We're teaching the camera. Keep going, brother. Teaching. Read that again. You gotta be able to be a student. Yeah. Proverbs yeah. 1 and 7. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is the beginning of knowledge. But full the size wisdom in instruction. That's exactly. And That's guess it. what? And guess what? And guess who's the, who, who's the instructor? Hostile. We're the instructor. We instruct. We instruct. Get the scripture. Get the scripture on where the woman should pray. Where should the woman pray? Bring that on. Bring that on. Bring that on. Who the hell is this woman calling Boo Boo? Like, go home, man. Go home. I don't care about your energy. Enjoy well, it. You should care. Care about what? what care Man, about? you should care about your what children. You, 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 you have your you kids outside know. in the cold. Care about that. Okay, Bring I'm it out, brother. Okay. You got issues. No. No. Let your woman keep silence in the church. What did well, God I'm say? What woman. did God say? Let your I'm woman. Not your woman. What did God say, brother? Let your woman keep silence woman in the church. Let them keep silence in the church. This is a church. And she's disrespecting okay, the church. The and and if she, I swear, word. if she never had kids, I would, curse, I would cur I'll put a curse on you. you it's just because you're babies. Power. Your you babies are blessing you right now. I will put a curse on you. Go ahead. Well, it is not permitted under under them to speak. That's not going to bring you anything. That's just straight from Satan. We have no power, but you're here. Why are you talking to us if we have no power? This is this is Timothy. We have no power. This is this is First Timothy. Bring it out, brothers. You're right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She's right. Hold on, hold on, brother. She's right. She's right. We're Israelites. We're God's chosen people. We have no power on this side. You know who has power? The Caucasian. The one who gave you power. So enjoy it as long as you can. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. Have fun with it, baby girl. It says. Boo -boo. Have fun with it, boo boo. I, I got a quick strip. I got a quick strip. I got a quick strip, Ox. I got a quick strip, Ox. Bring it out, brother. This is uh, second, uh, First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. It says, In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel and shamefacedness yes, shame and face. soberty what? and sobriety that would warn here. For gold or pearls are costly rate, but which become it woman okay. professing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They don't even know what God the word woman means. Yeah. Yeah. They don't even know the breakdown of the old word of woman. Of godliness. And and good good work. Let the woman learn in, in silence. No wonder the man left. Let the woman learn in silence. Let the woman learn in silence. Let the woman learn in silence. God, that man did the Let the woman learn in silence. That man did the Let the woman learn in silence. Let the woman learn in silence. Let the woman learn in silence. Before you come out, hold on. With all subjection. 
Well, I suffer not a woman to teach, mm -hmm. nor to observe authority over the man. Nor to you so what? what? To Say that again. Nor to what? Nor to observe authority over the man, Ooh. but to be in silence. <laughs> Shut up. Come on. That's right. Keep quiet. That's right. Okay, dude. I really don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You're right. You're right. It's like a spirited debate. It's a very, it's a very spirited. And I don't mind how I have it. I want to. Man, aren't you pregnant? You're pregnant again. This is so We just about women and men. Verse 13, it says, For Adam was first born, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. What we were just talking about. We just went into all of this. That's how you know this is the spirit. That's how they This is all spirit. Hey, I remember we were saying last week we haven't had to do I guess who it had to be? It had to be the Eve. Oh my God. God. Who else? Who else? And that's the same. Got cursed too. Who was that? Oh, bring it up, brother. Bring it up. Y'all got Isaiah cursed. Isaiah 32 and 9. Of that, you got cursed first. Oh, because y'all met God. We didn't meet God. Y'all met him. Isaiah 32 and 9. God talked to y'all, and y'all still look, sinned against God. So don't look at right me now. and don't blame us for what y'all didn't do. Okay? So y'all got sitting on y'all hands, and y'all know better. That's the problem. Y'all don't know how to be polite. Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, you women that are at ease. Hear my voice, you careless daughters, give ear unto my speech. Because these women are careless, man. The scripture says, rise up, you women that are easy. You women are going to be put to death soon. That's right! You know, you're going to be put to death soon. That's right! You, you and your God, the white man, is going to go down soon. That's right! Right? The babies that you have, they're going to die in front of you. Man. That's right! They say at 32 and 10, many days, many days, many years, Many days and this years to be trouble, you curless she's women. She's who we read about. She yeah. manifested herself. Many she's days so and years should be trouble, you curless yeah. women. Your ventures should fail. The gather to no yeah, come. Yeah, the welfare is going to be cut off. I was just going to say that. <laughs> the welfare is going to get cut off. No more serve. No more serve. No more serve. No more serve. <laughs> Babies are going to starve. Okay? That's what's going to happen, man. And we're going to watch it on last. Oh, man. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired of these fucking bitches. That's, That's what I'm saying. Bro. I don't feel these niggas. I see at 32. My truth. Is it Why my is that truth? everybody's lying now? Yeah. Is it the truth? Yo, what's that? What is it? Micah. Remember Micah? Because There's the condition, man. The condition. Bro, do you remember yeah. five yeah. years ago there was nothing named my truth? Yeah. Why is my truth the, the latest one? Yeah. Bitch came up with that shit. My truth. My truth. What is that? And just, 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 just the same thing when, 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 when Tupac was like, yeah, only God can judge me, everyone jumped on that. Con, yeah. Then con. a nigga woman came talking about my truth. I know everyone's talking about my truth. Yeah. There's one truth, man. Con. There's no my truth. There's Con. one truth, and it's in the scriptures. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And it says, let the woman learn in silence. Con. Con. Shut the fuck up. Con. Con. Right. See, Shut up, if what he saw here, she wouldn't have said anything. Con. So she went away, heard the word, came back, and started talking shit. And you know what? In the Muslim culture, a woman can't act like that. No, a man will no, fuck no, shit. No, no, no. The first thing she asks is, what are her stance of woman? Like, what, what are you talking about? Stance of woman? Because I'm trying to understand what, she, what she's talking about. But same thing. She's, she's trying to be exalted. All, all the brother did was ask her a question, a, right, a righteous yeah. one. You know what I mean? That was that was um that was Eve. That was yeah. Eve, Eve came back again. Yeah, Eve. Yeah, yeah. 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 holy fuck. <laughs> she came that's back. That's true. The damn three kids don't bother me. <laughs> oh, holy shit. That girl came okay. first. Yo. She yeah. don't care. Look at Mike. She yeah, she don't care. She don't she care. Don't care. She sound like care. a uh, dude like too. Yeah, it sounds yeah. like a fucking Yeah, she sucks shit. With a big ass nose too. A nigga woman with a with a with a so-called Negro nose that look like a feet of my nose, man. She look like a witch. Yeah. 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 The book of Micah 7 verse 9 says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord, Yahweh, because yeah. I have sinned against him gonna... right. until he plead my cause. Right. And that's that's what we're doing now. We know that we sinned. She talked about, oh, it's us that sinned. Yeah, we went off because we listened to your stupid ass. But guess <laughs> yeah. what? He started to come to us. The serpent didn't come to us. He came to you, you bitch. Yeah. You're the weaker vessel, but you wanna you wanna push up yourself like you're somebody. Yeah. You know? But guess what the man of the Lord are doing? We're standing up on our feet. We're 
Judgment enough for them to have hers. Yeah, them. exactly. That's <laughs> the judgment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah. You want to no, put one more curse on it? Yeah, yeah. Why is it pushing it? I was going to be like, yourself. yo, that's over. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's, 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 what, that's what you're going to have, a man. That's called uh, judgment, though. Yeah. Discernment. <laughs> that's that's why you're going to say that. Yeah, no man there with her. She's there by herself. She was debating one, two, three, four, five, six. She's 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 debating but how are you gonna say why would a man not think you have a man when you have two <laughs> kids and a belly? Yeah. Yeah. Looking like you're really walking so yeah. <laughs> what the hell? You know? What? Go home. Go home. Isn't that the first thing that's gonna come yeah. to your mind? What the hell? No, 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 this is that's, that's, that's why exactly. the brother the brother asks a simple question. Do you have a man, yes or no? <laughs> say, why you ask? Proud to say no too. <laughs> she's proud to say no, you know. Yeah, yeah because she's a daughter. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's a strong, independent black woman. And a exactly. woman like that should teach all the men on, on the highways not to be with these women like that, man. Not to even. Yeah. No, you can't be with your, that woman. Don't even put your mind on that. You don't, don't even put your, your, your power into no woman, energy, man. Yeah. Your energy, yeah. your, you know what I'm saying? That weakens you. That, that weakens, weakens you your flesh. Exactly. All of that argument, remember, just Too think about energy. this. Yeah. You're not even with her. Dream. Dream. Well, that's yeah. draining all that energy to go back and forth. Like, I'm like, going you had a woman like that at home. You're going to go home to an argument every night, fighting with your woman back and forth, back and forth. You want to work? You know, your house is going to be destroyed, man. Yeah. yeah. You end up wanting to kill the woman. To be no. honest, the reason why you're not supposed to do a woman like that because you won't even be able to trust her. Because a woman like that, her eye will be evil against you. That's right. So you don't know what she will do. Yeah, she will poison you. We get this. Uh, this is the book of Chirac 25 and 7. Uh, 16. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon <laughs> than to keep a house with a wicked woman. Oh my God. That's Read exactly it again. What it is. <laughs> Sirach 25 and 16. I had rather dwell with a lion oh, and a, a dragon. Lion and a dragon. 
need to keep a house with a wicked woman. Are you want to know the funny thing is? Could if she really woman. wanted to learn something, she just had to stand there. And listen, sir, just, keep just stand there. Listen, her mouth should have never been moving. Yeah. Not once. Right? Never. Unrighteousness, man. That's she's gonna be like yo you breed me <laughs> you breed me take jacket yeah. right, this is right. her baby now right. this is um, oh, God, Ezekiel God. 9 and 6 you know the judge was coming on him oh yeah that's a this good is, one uh, slay utterly old and young both maids and little children and women but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and again at my sanctuary and she doesn't even understand that we discern spirits did we not discern a spirit last week yeah yeah so we discern spirits so even if you're telling us okay i don't have a man i don't have a man man you have two kids and a belly right like, come on how much fans do you really have <laughs> <laughs> right? you're very much okay okay you're not married quote unquote you know? Exactly. You have a man somewhere. Exactly. Maybe father, somebody. Regardless. Yeah. You know? Sound like the woman at the well with, with your own shirt. Yeah. Second thing. Yes. Second thing six. Yeah, 29. So we boiled my son and did eat him. And I said unto her on the next day, give thy son that we may eat him. Uh, no. right? Hey, and she hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're laughing. But no. None of us know what starvation is like unless right. someone is from a third world country yeah. that been through that rough, hard rough times. Yeah, but hard times. we, why you think, why you think it says victual shall be so, ch so good cheap, bro? We can go and buy a, a burger for a dollar, dollar ninety nine. You could get a burger. Yeah. You could go to the dollar store and buy something to eat for for two dollars. Yeah. Yep. So we, in this country, we really can't starve. So when we do get that time again, it's gonna be we won't know what it's gonna be like. Oh, we've never witnessed it, man. Yeah. We've never went days without food before, yes. right? So when that comes, oh, you're, you're thinking, oh, how could they eat their own baby? Starvation will make you do a lot of crazy yeah. things. Oh yeah, man. You'll, you'll be thinking about that baby as chicken, man. Yo, <laughs> you'll be yeah. thinking about that baby. And that baby's gonna be crying, and you have nothing to give to it, so yeah. you're just gonna look at the uh, baby like, yo, I can't feed it. Yeah, he's the gonna die anyway. Yeah. Exactly. And and you can't feed it. Yeah. And these women with no husband, that's what they're gonna that's what they're gonna resort to because they're, they're not, no one's gonna be there to, to protect them pretty much. Yes. Right? And other and other people who are hungry might see the baby and be like, yo, see oh baby my there? gosh. You know, yeah. like in the movie The Road. Yes. They want to eat the little boy. <laughs> they want they're gonna eat yeah. that. No, they wanted to have sex. Oh, boy. they want even that too. Yeah. But they're gonna fucking eat that thing. Yeah, after. After probably yeah. all of that crazy That's shit. That's what they said. They yeah. fuck you and then they eat you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah man, so be dangerous. That's what the scripture says. Where the women are the keys, man. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is coming back. Starvation, famine is coming mm -hmm. back. Siege. Oh, yeah. Major siege. Wage. Oh, yeah. Right? We're already sieged. Yeah. We're already surrounded. We saw has these grips on the world. So when he's ready to pull out to take over the food, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, These women yeah. are going to die first because they're the weak. Right? But before they die, for the, all that rebelliousness that they've been, they've been causing through the whole earth, they're going to suffer first, man. Right. Right. And honestly, I don't want to judge a book by its cover because I don't know her, but she just doesn't look like she has a lot going for herself. Yeah, nah, she's down. Right? She just she looks, looks like she does live off of the system. Yeah. She's proud. She's proud. She's proud. She's proud. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. John chapter 4 verse, um, verse 16 it says the house I said unto her go call your husband go call my husband come hither verse 17 the woman, the woman answered and said I have no husband <laughs> <laughs> that was she <laughs> crazy ass <laughs> can't make this up you can't make this up <laughs> Go ahead, Art. See, how I said unto her, no has said, no has no said. You uh, well said. You uh, said well, girl. Yeah, like this one. And it says, uh, how I said unto her, no has well said, I have no husband. For no has had five wow. husbands. Wow. <laughs> Deadly. Yo, yo. Deadly. That was back in the day. That was back in the day. Yeah, so now they have thousands of them, man. 
That's yep. back in the day. So you think they're That's gonna have actually back in the day where women could be put to death for adultery. Yeah. And, no. and those women so imagine were, now. Those women, yeah. women back then was more mature than these girls now. Oh, oh, yeah. so you oh, probably yeah. marry those girls back then. You will freaking fall in love with those ones. Those ones are probably beautiful. And like she was a hoe. Yeah, 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 she was yeah, a hoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Compared to it's what's not. going on right now? Jeez. Oh, man. These yeah. girls are tricking every man. Sorry, I said five, five husbands. This one probably has a thousand husbands. You could be a one girl. Children, she's like, oh, days. on to the next. Not, not Where's that girl in Tinder you said? Yeah. Uh, she had what? Uh, oh, how yeah. much men? 144 men. Yeah, 144 men. <laughs> 144,000. <laughs> Hold on, how much was it for the year? Uh, for, for the whole year? Yeah, like 144 men a year. Wait, or something like that. What are you talking about? The Tinder girl, she, 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 someone was interviewing her, and then they asked her, oh, how much, uh, approximately how much men do you have a week? So she probably said, she said like, what, 12, something like that, four a week? She yeah, so it ended up to like so 12. Roughly, right, she so did roughly. 144. A year. Yeah, yeah. So what about, yeah, it was virtual, man. It was what about so the girls that do, um, <laughs> the girl had, like, yeah. sell? Oh, the ones that sell? These girls have like, Thousand guys for real. For real. Getting your guys in the day. For real. Why would your guys in the day? Not that. That's how they make it. Not that. We haven't been talking about the yep. week. And then this, this one on the, on the article, she was just sleeping with men just like that. Yeah, she wasn't yeah, even yeah, making yeah. no money or anything. She was just on a joyride. What is this? <laughs> on a carousel joyride. Look <laughs> good. Right? That's what she was on. So. 144 a year. Yeah. Do you think we could. Not, as a man, we don't even get those even, numbers. Yeah, we can't even top that. You can't. You can't. <laughs> you cannot. Come and say, for thou has had five husbands, and he who thou has now is not thy husband. <laughs> in, that, <laughs> in that sense, though truly. Yes, because in the beginning, <laughs> it wasn't so, right? Why is he get married as kids? That's good for the woman until she dies. One husband. Right? So hey, and that's how you know. We were we were speaking the same thing as Yahusha. Yeah. The same way. That's how you know it's a yeah. song, man. Yeah. The same thing the man spoke two thousand years ago, yeah. we're speaking it right yeah. now. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Same yeah. thing. We just yeah. did it right now. We're in righteousness. We just did yeah. it right now in righteousness through the most high. Yeah, the most high just manifested, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we just did what he did. Yahusha, watch this. Come. <laughs> And the truth just came out. And she beat it down the road. Yeah. All right. I don't think so. This is um, Job 39. I, I, I'm glad she has daughters. I pray she doesn't have a son. Yeah. Oh, right. oh my gosh. She's going to hate that that, yeah. that, that boy. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. She's going to hate his father. She's going to hate his father. No, most of these people women hate their baby fathers. Look like your daddy. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Look like your daddy. Oh, yeah. Pushing your lip. Your daddy does that. Yes, sir. <laughs> yep. That's true, man. Job 39 and 13. Gave thou goodly wings unto the peacocks, or wings and feathers unto the ostrich, which leaveth her eggs in the earth, and warmeth them with dust, and forgetteth that the foot may crush them, or that the wild beast may break them. Yeah, it did. Did you, did you women on the side, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Simeon, Zebulon, Ephraim, Manasseh, Reuben, Gad, Asher, Naphtali, Issachar, did you women forget that? If you raise your boys and your girls the same, that that's going to weaken your nation? Do you not know that? Do you know, do you not know that there needs to be a separation between what men do and what girls do? Right? That's how I was raised. My sister couldn't do what me and my brother did. There was a separation, yeah, yep. because girls she's a girl child. Yeah, go, girls go play right? their own thing. Go ahead. Yeah. Verse 16. It says, she is hardened against her young ones. Yeah, th there you go. She's hardened against her young ones, man. First of all, lady, why do you, why are you outside? <laughs> go home. After dark. It's cold. It's dark now, you know. Supposed to be inside like, we, yo, you, you really, I don't think people understand the type of society we live in. One, two, three, four, five, six, Danger. seven, eight months, and a you? woman come up by herself. Yeah. Remember, yeah. That's unjust, that's unnormal. Men of your heart will be vulnerable. Imagine if this was really like back then where men would fucking kill people like 
Yeah, that was not somewhere in the Caribbean. Children would be dead, yo. That woman would be dead. Like, she would be freaking dead, bro. Or get slapped. Something could happen. No, I'm just saying. Women would never try something like that. Shame of women. They wouldn't be outside this lake. Agreed. They wouldn't be outside. Agreed. But you know what? The Bible said that women are supposed to be shamed face, not even look at me. You're not even supposed to look at me, bitch. Exactly. Facts. What are you doing? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go home. She's arguing against her young ones as though they were not hers. Her labor is in vain without fear. Because Yahweh. Without fear. Yeah, no fear. <laughs> no no. Track. <laughs> yeah, in vain with no fear. That's what she wow. says. She's not. And she's looking for a place for women. Miss, do you not know this is a battlefield? This right. Is war zone. This is a war zone. A war Anything zone. could pop off here. Yeah. Yeah. It says, verse 17, because Yahweh hath deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. Mm -hmm. That's why women are supposed to be led. That's why they need to be instructed. When you instruct them, and you instruct them wisely, now you have a righteous woman. But a woman is not going to just be righteous. She needs to be instructed. That's right. Once she's instructed and she's doing the right thing, now you have a good woman. A good woman is not just born. She's not born, oh, she's no. good. No. A woman is good when she's instructed. So for you, brothers, who are in the truth, you have daughters. If you instruct your daughters in the ways of this truth, now yeah, that would be a good woman, yeah. yep. because she comes from good lineage. She comes from good stock. Yeah, that's right. That's what pedigree. <laughs> she she comes from a good father. Yeah, she's man. gonna understand how her father thinks, yeah. and she's gonna so gonna so when she get a man, she won't she's ask her man, why do you talk like this? Well, she's she gonna, gonna be like, the, my daddy spoke yeah. like this. You know what? She's gonna know the ropes. She's gonna know she's the gonna ropes. She's gonna be like, just no man can run a so a man come and try with their sweet talk yeah, and this yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 And when she gets into the time of Isaiah 4, nobody's going to want her. Guaranteed. Yeah. She's going to have to fend for herself. Yeah. Three kids? Right now, nobody wants her. She's not even that woman with three kids in the right mind. Exactly. <laughs> it says, uh, how, long, uh, how long will they go about all the backsliding daughters? But the Lord has to a new thing in the earth. A woman shall pass about a man. Because she knows, right. she knows that women have over passed the night. Exactly, <laughs> and that's why we laughed. Yeah. I wasn't gonna battle with her, Miss. You're right. You know, okay, Miss. You can speak. You can do whatever you want, ma'am. Enjoy. The hell, I'm not gonna debate that's with you about your freedom. You have freedom. That feminism, man. <laughs> you know, we're gonna bring out the precepts and cut you. You know, after you leave or whatever. That's right. You know your judgment. Right? That's it. Hey, like, like, like the elders say, there's no time for debating. No? Right. Yeah. That's it. We yeah. Done, we're done with that. We're done, we're done debating. To be this honest, you could energy. you could tell she was desperate. Yeah, yeah. She just loved attention. the fact that she got that attention. attention. Yeah. She looked desperate as hell. Yeah. I wasn't going to go deep with her. It was actually funny to me. Yeah. Because I understand the time that we're living in now. So for a woman to do stuff like that, all she did was mark herself. Ma'am, you marked yourself. Red flag. That's on you. That's on you. That's not really on us. We literally were minding our own business. When I told her to go through, I just thought she was just yeah. going to keep going. Yeah. Walked by the first time. Yeah, kind. <laughs> this is Buckingham. Back in Micah 7 verse 10, it says, uh, Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, uh, and, and, sh and, and shame shall cover her. Somebody get the word enemy, the meaning, on dictionary.com or Google, whatever. And then get the etymology of it. Hold that scripture, don't read it. Yeah. The, they get the uh, the word. Read it over again. I'll get the etymology. Somebody get it. Read it again. Come. Verse, uh, verse, uh, Micah 7 verse 10 says, Then she that is my enemy, enemy. shall see it. Yeah, hold on. 
person who is actively opposed or hostile to Simple and plain. Simple and plain. A person who is opposed. Opposed to what? Opposed to this. Opposed to this rule. Oppo somebody get the word rule after. R-U-L-E. Rule. But was that the only thing for um, enemy? Or was there more? Um, a hostile nation yeah. or its armed forces or citizens, especially in the Yeah. I think amount or weaken something, something else. Exactly. That's our enemy. Yeah. Because the black woman has weakened this yeah. nation. Yeah, First right. of all, it's for a baby to survive in a black woman's womb is actually a 50-50% chance, yeah. they said. That's how much abortions our women have. Yes. That's how many abortions. I just kept yeah. mentioning her down yeah. stupid yeah. womb that she has in that filthy womb, talking about, oh, it wasn't for, for her, um, her, her womb, the rule of her life. I'm like, listen, we came out of our father's nuts that first. That's exactly. Right. That's right. 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 You give birth to the life. You give birth to it. That's all you did. That's right. You nourish the life. That's it. <laughs> and they, they, they put that over the, you know, over the, over the creation, yeah. over the creator. Yeah. Right. One that, if, hold on, brother. Hold on, man. Go ahead. If, no, no, no. One that is antagonistic to another. Ex um, antagonistic. Yes. Yeah. If that's not the woman, yes. I don't know who. If that's, that's not it. the nigga crow, that's why I don't deal with nigga crows. Antagonize. <laughs> They antagonize you. That's the word. 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 Overthrow. Overthrow. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Something harmful or deadly. That's right. A military adversary, a hostile unit, or force. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, to water. No, we don't need Adam. Unless it goes deep. Guys, yeah, look deep. Yeah. So bring it up. It says, enemy, adversary, foe, demon. Demon? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she was a demon. <laughs> I had to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So it, it goes, it goes. One, one hateful yeah. towards an, an intent of, of harming someone. You see, oh you see god. that? Yeah. Oh my god. Because gosh. she said she's against. One, two, three, four, she comes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she all of us, so. Yeah, that lady is too much. She counted us as her enemy. Yo. Wow. And the scripture counted her as our enemy. Exactly. exactly. So, so she knows. So the scripture trumps all. So she knows. Of course she knows. They all know. Bring it up. Come now. Mark Hassan was there and says, and then she that is my enemy shall mm -hmm. see it. Demon. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> and shame shall cover her. He said unto, unto me, Where is the Lord Yahweh thy power? Mine eyes shall uh, mine eyes shall behold her. Lord willing, Lord willing, our eye shall behold yes. the downfall of this kingdom. Yes. That's just gonna be the, the, the cherry on top if yes. we're able to witness it. No matter what, it's gonna happen whether we're here or not. But the, the beauty of everything is to be able to witness it, to rejoice, and to say thank you. This kingdom yes. is done finally, man. <laughs> That would be a blessing, man. Yep. It says, uh, my eyes shall behold her, now shall she be trodden down as a mire of the streets. Mm -hmm. right, so the same thing happened to Jezebel. They, they all had that Jezebel spirit yeah, on them. Exactly. What happened to Jezebel? She got thrown through a damn window, stomped on, right? And the dogs ate her flesh. That's right. right. In the street. <laughs> In the streets. That's how these women are going to be trodden down. That's, that's, that's right. That's how they eat them. So they that's have right. that spirit on them. Yeah, the dogs are going to eat like that. Yeah, that's right. That's it, man. You're going to be trying to You're going to walk into the dead room. That's right. right. You know, the scripture says, I'm in Ezekiel, you go without. Right? Women, children, the old and the young, all going to yes. perish. Right. Hey, and remember, the Most High is going to create new creatures. Yes. And these creatures are going to be deadly. And these women, women have to watch out for creatures because remember, they bleed. And blood. animals oh, yeah. smell, smell blood. blood. Yeah. So these women are in trouble, man. Yep. They're in big trouble. Yeah, big trouble. They don't even understand they're in trouble. Yeah. Big, big trouble. Yeah. On top of the east, I'll eat them when I'm looking for them. <laughs> then you see a woman with pure blood on their leg walking past you on the road. In sackcloth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Full of blood. You're going to be wearing a, a 
like a big tracksuit. Yeah. You know, that day, women not gonna be she trying not to trying show skin. skin. Yeah, <laughs> she's not gonna be showing no skin, but that child's gonna look all dirty and fucked up. With all blood Probably shaved their head. Yeah, shaved her head, yeah. Just so she could go and pass as a man. Yeah, I'm trying to act like she's got You know what I mean? You women are in trouble in that day. We're gonna see right through a skirt because just not a. And says, and in that day, seven women shall set hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by their name to take away our reproach. That's, that's what she wanted to do. She's trying to find a man that can find her. Yeah, man. And, and it wasn't working for her. But, guess, but well. guess, guess why? And guess what type of man? Because remember, we're doing that now. Because we need to call up, we need to, to get with a man. To take away our reproach, and our man is Yahusha. Right, right, yeah. To take away our reproach, yeah. that's the first thing we need to do, right? So yeah, the, the men of the Lord who are going to be good in that day, <coughs> you got whoever those men are, they're going to have women throwing themselves oh, yeah. just to try and get that yeah, under that protection, yeah. 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 Because remember, it says that those men are going to shine like the fine gold of you, Ufer. Yeah, so yeah, you men are going to stand out, man. Right? I think it's, it's going to happen soon. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Lord willing. Like man. now, me too. Happening, All the simping that's going on. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> Go ahead, brother. So fast. <laughs> the book of Isaiah 13 verse 12 mm -hmm. says, "I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man, um, even a man than the golden rich of Ophir." That's right, and, and and we know it's not talking about the men of Babylon, because it says the men in the Babylon shall be like women. Yep. yep. Right. So right these now. men. Are are are, are going to be the hundred and forty four thousand, man. Right. Those men are going to be different in that day, man. Right. Yeah, and you're going to have a lot of people following behind you, just like people were following Yahushua. behind Yahusha when he yeah. was here on the, the earth. Yeah, they're oh. trailing him. They were trailing him. Trailing him. Can't get no no rest. Can't have enough to be on the go, man. They just wanted to touch his garment. Yeah, they wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember, True. they're like, yo, is, is it he was making doing these signs and wonders? These miracles are happening. Can yeah. heal the blind, mm -hmm. cast out demons, other people, and Spirit. brothers will be able to do bring that people, too. Yeah. Brothers will be able to do that as well. Yeah. 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 Brothers will be able to do that as well. We did a lot of miracles, yeah. right? I mean, we do, we, we do it through the whole cycle. Right here. No, no, we, we don't. Know. We don't have that right now. No, I know we don't have that, but we have. What I'm talking about is the actual power, touch yes. and heal. Yes, but we have, a, we have power that that whoever gets the truth, the, the one third or the elect, we have the power. We're waking them up. That's that's a great miracle. That's a that's great still power. not do us. I know. I we know, don't have that power. power shine. We know, have no still, power. We have nothing. We just power. preach the word. Come that's on. all we do. We just preach the word. Right? The most high is the one that wakes up whoever he wakes up. That's right. Through this through this world. That's the Jesus prophets. That's still a power, you know? That's, that's still it. that's still yeah. strong. Yeah. That's, that's right. Because to bring down this kingdom, that's a great power. And we and uh, Yahusha is bringing this place down, man. Close up to this kingdom. Just by the words alone, like you said. Yeah. Bring down this kingdom. He's bringing it down. Just by the, the words, man. Words that's powerful. Side, you know? But um, with that, we like to close up. Uh, give all glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh. Shalom. 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 Shalom.